Okay, we are back again with more WWE 2K15 coverage. And on this one, guys, we have got some more different pieces of news, all courtesy of Jared, the community manager, over on the official 2K forums. So, guys, if you haven't seen the forums before, I definitely encourage you to go over there and check it out. A link to the forums will be in the description below. So, this was basically Jared, again, who is a community manager, answering some questions and that kind of stuff. So, there is quite a lot of reading involved. So I'm just going to leave the questions and the answers on the screen and then skim over it all and give you guys my kind of thoughts on it. Obviously you guys can feel free to pause the video at any time and read the questions and the answers in full. So let's get into it. So firstly if you guys are worried about the new story mode in 2K15 which is the 2K showcase mode. We now know this mode is going to feature a lot of content including a lot of matches a lot of high quality video packages plus some more stuff we're going to be finding out about very soon. If you are a 360 or PS3 owner and wondering if you can still get your hands on the Hulk Hogan DLC even though the actual special edition is a next gen or current gen exclusive that's not be confirmed yet either way so we should know soon enough. A couple of bits now on entrances and the divas in the new game it is confirmed that some of the 2K15 entrances have been mocapped by actual WWE superstars and then some by actors as well. Better though, it is stated that every single superstar on the new game has a brand new entrance. And also, if you're a fan of Divas, good news for you because it is said the Divas are looking much better from 2K14 to 2K15, which is kind of obvious, but still nice to know. Again, some more details on the entrances in 2K15, they have been hugely improved to the point that they look like real-to-life TV entrances. If you're a last-gen user and want to see a screenshot of the PS3 or Xbox 360 version, then you might have to wait a little while longer because it is stated that that screenshot might not be available until after all the IGN stuff is concluded, and obviously the IGN stuff lasts all month long. But more interestingly, and good news if you are a 360 or PS3 gamer, Jared states there are still unique reasons that have the last gen consoles pointing towards some sort of last gen exclusive which I would imagine to be custom soundtracks. Who knows though guys, hopefully we will know soon enough. And now on this one, some information on this year's crowd. Obviously guys we couldn't really see the crowd in the John Cena screenshot but it is confirmed to be much better such as in the NBA 2K games. And finally now a note on the official screenshot featuring John Cena which was obviously sickly good. It is confirmed that screenshot is 100% in-game gameplay shot. So not a cutscene, not part of an entrance. And what's even more impressive as he states it gets even better. So hopefully we're going to be seeing that gameplay sometime pretty soon. So guys quite a few bits of info there. Nothing major but... Again, some interesting bits and pieces. Like I said, feel free to go back over, pause the video, read all the questions and the answers in full. And again, credit for all this information goes to Jared via the official 2K forums. So if you guys haven't seen the forums before, then I highly encourage you to go over there and check them out. As always, stay tuned for much more 2K15 coverage coming very, very soon. But until the next time, this has been 101. And I will see you all on the next one.